I can't tell you how much fun that was. It might have been one of the most fun sweeps I've had here in my three years. Nice. You guys, a lot of talk. You guys have struggled a little bit against the, the top ranked teams kind of coming in and be able to salvage a lot of those with the Sunday. But it's just a statement for you guys to be able to, to kind of knock off a team that was a Pac-12 favorite coming in. Yeah, season. definitely. You know, they're a very, very well-powered, high-powered team. Um, so it's a great honor to beat them in three games like that. Uh, you know, they've definitely put up some good fights in all three games. So, you know, it was a good victory for us and we'll be proud of ourselves about it. What's your pro suit? What are you thinking with that guy? The last at bat, I mean, that guy throws 93 miles an hour from the side with a lot of sync. So, I mean, I was just trying to get something with elevation and put a good swing on it. Um, you know, that fastball was in a little bit. I was able to keep it fair, luckily. So, you know, it kind of worked out for all of us. You thrive on a situation like that, aren't you? Down by one in the ninth inning, you're the guy in this lineup and you come through like that. Yeah, that's something that I want to be in. Even Friday night when Aaron Payne was on uh, hitting, you know, I wanted to be the guy. But, you know, it's awesome having guys come through and even just put us in this situation. You know, without guys getting on base, we don't have that opportunity. So, you know, it's just special for us to be able to finish the game strong like that. It was a very long, long game. Jake Reed, Jake Reed threw his heart out today, so I didn't want to let him go home with the loss with the way that he threw tonight. You were pumping your fists, running across the infield after that hit. What, what, can you talk me through your emotions uh, when you guys won, when the when Payne crossed the plate? I can't even describe, you know, the emotions going through my body. It's just everyone's so exhausted, you know. The sun's beating down on us three games deep, and we're just all tired and want to give us it all. I felt like we gave it our all in that last inning. It was great to come out on top of the scoreboard. You mentioned the series as a whole, it being you know, maybe the most fun you've had here. You had the walk-off and then the pack crowd yesterday with the spring game and then another walk-off today. Uh, how awesome of a three days was this for you guys? You know, baseball is full of a lot of emotions, a lot of ups and downs, and I felt like we were able to you know, and minimize the downs this weekend and ride the ups as long as we could and, you know, just string good at-bats together and, you know, score runs when we need to. And, you know, our pitching staff did a great job this weekend. Our bullpen was flawless. So, you know, it was really special to see the stuff that we had going on. It kind of felt like a classic win for you guys. I mean, it's a small ball. You know, you get a timely hit. The small ball really won it all. And you guys have that never-say-die attitude once again. Can you kind of just talk to that? That's just our mentality, you know, never give up. I don't care how many outs there are, or how many runs we're down, we're not going to give up. Whether it's some small ball or long ball, we're going to find a way to get it done. And, you know, we, f we try to find different ways to get it done each day, as you can see. I mean, a squeeze wins a game right there. It's just a really special opportunity for us. And it's something we worked on all week, so it was great to be able to watch it, you know, carry over to the game and get a victory for us. You came, the, the catcher's interference must have been a little bit of a demoralizing uh, situation with that basically giving two runs to Stanford. What was the, the attitude like in the dugout after that inning, um, and then how were you guys able to kind of overcome that mentally? I think our mentality of next pitch really paid off in that situation. You know, it's a very unfortunate situation. Uh, um, uh, catcher's interference, you don't see it very often. It's not like Josh Graham was trying to do it. Freak accident. Um, you know, you move on from it, and Jake executed some great pitches, and Brian Rivera, you know, one of the one of the better hitters in the country, you know, did a great job in the ball up the middle, scored two runs. So, you know, you tip your hat to them, but I think the the, the baseball gods came back and rewarded us in the end for that. What does this sweep do for you guys heading forward, big picture for the rest of the season? I just think it shows us how good we can be, and you know, the best part about all this is that we can be a lot better. I mean, with how many errors we had this weekend and how many runs we can eliminate, I think there's more opportunity for us to be even better. Long week for you guys ahead, right, heading up to Seattle and then another series. How do you approach a week like that? Well, get ahead with schoolwork because this is week five, so we're going to be missing a lot of midterms and stuff like that. But, you know, professors do a good job of working with us. But I just think I'd take it one game at a time. We'll get up to Seattle tomorrow. We'll drive up there and we'll get our minds right and get ready to play Tuesday, Wednesday, and you know, take one series at a time. What's your confidence over right now? Step in the better spots. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kind of seeing red right now. You know, I'm not thinking too much. I'm confident, and that's just the way that... And, you know, everyone wants to be, you just got to keep it going as long as you can.